everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we are wrapping up the last month of 2023 in my reading journal. Now I'm aware that we are already mid-January by the time this video is going out and I did hum and haw over whether or not I would share the final month but because I am doing the flip through and that will be the next video out I thought it would make most sense to share this footage with you. I have had a very erratic start to the year um, and everything's fine or will be fine but it has been not the start that I was looking forward to. We're going to get into the stats and everything of December right away but I do want to mention that there have been a couple of videos that I haven't shared like usual and one of them goes along with this video that normally comes out in the first week of each month and it is the end of month reading update. I also didn't do a mid-month reading update in December as well because of how hectic things were and so I do apologize I don't have that video. I haven't sat down and fit it, filmed it at all. I haven't even thought about it. I just knew I wouldn't have the time to do that and it's kind of frustrating because I wanted to keep that cohesive flow of it being a monthly thing but life is life and we will go with what we can so I am going to just skip that for January I actually won't have the mid-month reading update up in the middle of the month either just because this is going out on the 18th so uh, it is what it is please bear with me so December was a really good month of reading. I did a total of, oh, sorry, I read a total of 17 books um, and I had my highest amount of five star reads in that month. However, I did reread two books and they're instant five star reads for me. So that kind of does play around with the stats a little bit. But I always include rereads in my stats simply because I spent the time rereading it. And there have been a couple of instances in the past where I've reread a book and it hit me differently. So I'm always aware of that being an option when rereading a book. But for the most part, um, I normally only reread five star reads. So it was bound to happen. All the same, I really enjoyed December and the reads that I had. There were a few there that uh, were a bit weak, but I was spending a lot of time on books that I knew I wanted to finish before the year went out, and that meant they were all books that I'd been really looking forward to, such as Never Met a Duke Like You by Amelie Howard and Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands, which I had as an arc, and uh, what else did I have? Foul Heart Huntsman. They were all five star reads for me, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with how many good books I had over the last month of the year. And the stats were pretty decent as well. As you can see on the screen, we have pages read at 6,041. My average was four stars. Arcs, I read two of. I purchased and got gifted about eight books. I hired seven out from the library. I read a total of 14 different series and one standalone. I did DNF four books and the format that I read by was three physical, five ebook, nine audiobook, and novel mixed. Um, for type, I had 13 novels, three novellas, and one graphic novel. And for audience, I had nine adult, zero new adult, seven YA, and one middle grade. And for the stats over here that we're filling in now, I had two 2.5 stars, two 3 stars, two 3.5 stars, three 4 stars, two 4.5 stars, and a whopping six 5 stars, which looks really cool in the silver. I have eight fantasy books that I read, um, six romance, and three paranormal. Does that add up? I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. Yes, it does. Um, so, all in all, a really good month. I did find that using the metallic pens to colour in the bar graph 
looked really messy. I've done this in the past, but they were my colours for the month of December. I did a Christmas theme, so I just rolled with it. Um, I didn't know what else color, what other colours to use, and since I had been using the Furunosuke pens, the pastel ones, for my actual writing over December, I didn't want to change that up. Flipping straight to the front of the book and we get to fill in some things that we are missing, such as the last book of the year put on to the Goodreads Challenge. And now we're on to the Day's Red Pixel, which I always say is my favourite page to film in this video, and it truly is. I love seeing this come together and seeing all the trends. And unfortunately, I did not go back to reading two books on the 7th, if you have been following along this was the one day every month that I read two books and in November I broke that and read only one and again in December I read only one I kind of wish that I had read two but then also then it would just be like this one bad stain in the line so at least it kind of follows through from where we were last month overall though I did read quite a few books and um, there were a few days where I didn't read at all but I did catch up on a lot of reading um, at times where I wasn't busy. As most people, December is the month where we wrap up everything for the year. We're trying really hard to get everything done. So I'm actually grateful for the amount of books that I did get read over December. I did participate in a readathon but and I did complete it, but it wasn't something that I was like actively focusing on, if that makes sense. Like it was just a bonus that I managed to complete it in time. Now we're moving on to a page that I've never given any attention to until today and that is the top 23 books of 2023 and as you can see we're going to cut out a whole bunch of covers and stick them into this visual guide. Um, really happy with how this page came together. Um, please bear with me as I pull off all the double-sided tape that's on the back of these books for each one. I really didn't want to edit them out. There was just too many books to take it all off of and cut and put it all together so please bear with me as I take a little bit of time to stick them in. Uh, I mentioned this in my flip through which is coming as the next video as I mentioned um, and it is hard for me to put books into order and say which ones I love more than the other. Aside from the top five, maybe the top eight, um, they were very easy to put into that order but for the rest it's kind of like some of them I read at the start of the year so of course I don't love them as much as I did a newer released book if that makes sense or something that I read say in November is going to be more in my mind than a book in February and I noticed that that was something that did play into where some of these books landed on the top 23. Um, definitely a lot of the newer red books ended up higher on the list though there were a couple that like remained strong throughout um and i also found it really interesting to see that the majority were fantasy i shouldn't be surprised by that like every month i read a, a great deal of romance books but it's always the fantasy books that tend to come out on top so it shouldn't surprise me because i do love fantasy it is my favorite genre um but sometimes I think wow there's a lot of fantasy on here where are all the romance books that I read and I sat there trying to think about them all and I couldn't remember half of them so that yeah that's saying something about how I really take in fantasy versus romance and something to be a bit more mindful going into 2024 thinking about um but I'm really happy with all the books that I got to read over 2023 168 books is a really big deal to me and I'm so grateful that this page is finally done. I did not complete my 23 books in 2023 challenge. Um, that just didn't happen. But um, we are going to continue on with filling in everything else. I missed by one book. And the TBR book of the month, I also didn't finish one book. So there's just one book holding me back on a couple of these challenges. So I'm not too bothered about them. The final page in the black journal is the monthly themes and book club reads and now we're flipping straight into the reading data journal. This one has had a couple of updates to it off camera so it wasn't as um, easy to fill this in on camera for you all just because I'd gone through and already put things in. I was actually planning on not showing this journal 
but there were a couple of moments in here that I did film something such as um, Heartstopper and then also finishing off this one here which is the Secret Shanghai series. I'm so glad I got to finish that this year. There are a lot of open-ended series going into 2024 and it is one of my goals for this year to hopefully finish some of these series off or at least get like a lot of progress done on them because I am the type of person that starts them and then doesn't come back to them. I would really like to finish them. There's also some series on here that I think I'm going to have to unhaul or DNF following, uh, finishing because yeah, they're, they're not in my interest anymore. But that's something that I wanted to not think about at the start of the year and just sort of move on and see where my mindset goes after a month or two and then figure that out. Uh, right now, like I mentioned, it's pretty hectic, so I don't want to be making any decisions right now that are going to affect having to fix things in my journal, if that makes sense. Um, but like I mentioned, a lot of the series that I were reading or started over December, I'd already written down. Um, and just these two series that were later into my reading of December got put down. The own TBR looks um, like this right now on camera, but it's actually completely changed. I've gone through and streamlined everything in my collection. So you get to see that in the January flip throughs. We're now on to the final portion of the 2023 at a glance page. And... I'm really happy with how this all came together. I'm so glad that I decided to do these visuals. I did make a mistake on one of the books. I colored it in the wrong color um, and now it looks red instead of pink. I did try to go over it again, but otherwise I'm really happy with how these pages have come together. They're just a visual, but it's really effective to see where I read a lot. You can see where things get portioned out, where I'm a bit busier, and it seems to be the middle week of each month I'm not reading nearly as much. I have done my end of the year stats, but not enough to show on camera, and we're now at the final flip through. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and also waiting for this video. I know it's very, very late and getting out on my schedule is very behind, but better late than never. And I am looking forward to sharing more video content with you all over the months to come. And this is the end of the Black Journal. I'm really sad to see it go. It's a bit bittersweet closing this up and putting it away. But I've had a great time in it and you'll get to see the flip through very soon. So until we next meet, I hope that you have fun reading or journaling and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.